here mainly the bigger difference is that we do primarily water-based ink mm -hmm. um, which normally <laughs> <laughs> prints really, really well and has like a nice soft hand feel to it um, but I mean a lot of the bigger shops these days will offer plastisol or water-based ink um, but I think I guess what sets us apart from most others is the fact that we do the design work in-house and most of what we print is stuff that we've designed that people mm -hmm. come to us needing a design and the printing done which is pretty cool because yeah. I get tired of printing like HVAC company logos <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. it's nice to be able to print stuff that you like and for some reason their design is always terrible I've never seen uh, it they, they need to step it up when it comes to us um, for the design <laughs> yeah I was gonna say that too yeah. the design work in-house and printing out and stuff yeah and being able to work on this stuff together is is really the most fun part for me yeah. Especially when you get like stuck on something and get that weird creative block and the bean will just be like, I'm done with this, pass it off and then they do it until done with it and then pass it back. So I, I do really like that. Cool. Yeah, it seems like a good, good teamwork. Um, segue, not very well. What does the word queer mean to you? <laughs> yeah, that is not a segue. <laughs> <laughs> not really the same topic. Yeah. I'm just so. going to jump to that one. Um, we were talking about this the other day because we read that and we both decided that it's a lot about uh, a community. It's this umbrella term to describe all types of people. And we were like, pretty much just not straight <laughs> people. <laughs> I feel like that it feels really inclusive to me. I feel like yeah. anyone can kind of identify with that who's not, whose sexuality or gender identity or just isn't in the norm, you know? Yeah. And especially if you grew up used to not seeing those parts of yourself represented and then having this community where it's this one word that I feel like kind of does apply to everyone. And I know that not everyone feels that way, but all kinds of people together because of it. Mm -hmm. And it's also neat that it means weird. Cause <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like at archaically it meaning yeah. weird. I'm like, I'm done with that too. Mm -hmm. But I also, you know, I just, I think just being like, well, I think they're a little queer. You know, that can mean just about anything, you know, and you yeah. don't have to have the details of it, but you have that immediate feeling of community and inclusion. Um, so I, I do like it as a word, even when I was little and like I only knowing it as meaning weird and I always just like the sound of it. Like it's just as a nice word to say, like queer, you know, and you can really get a real Southern accent on it. Queer. Queer. <laughs> What is it like being queer in rural Georgia? That is a mixed bag. <laughs> yeah. It's like we get, um, especially with a little one involved, you get some people who smile at you real big and kind of can understand or know that, you know, we're in a relationship and that's not everyone's norm. Um, and then you will also get, we will get some looks, like some more malicious yeah hateful looks and that's have people following us around in the store like yeah with this like minimus <clears throat> and it's just crazy expression it's, and out of nowhere with no interactions with this man and just like tracking us down throughout a goodwill yeah <laughs> yeah um so it really it's a weird balance and it's always nice whenever there's just nothing at all whenever yeah. it's just treated completely normalized yeah. and that's you know, it's weird that that's kind of more rare, but yeah. we do get oh, those like nice people. when people kind of go out of their way to like acknowledge you a little bit extra. It does kind <coughs> of it's nice to have a little bit of balance it with it, balanced. especially when you're feeling somewhere where you're kind of uncomfortable. Because there's a lot of times where we're really looking over our shoulder because of that atmosphere, and you know, there's a concern for our safety sometimes. Not so much here. I think we're lucky with the town yeah, Delonica specifically. Yeah. We've been comfortable with, but there are times if we just go right out of city limits. <laughs> that I mean, immediately right out of city yeah, limits. Yeah, it gets weird. <laughs> that things have gotten weird, and so we've gotten uh, just a big variety of experiences, yeah. and we really try to throw ourselves out there. Is um, I mean, because publicly, like we run this business together, we don't really hide that we're a couple, and people know that. We've even been in a local newspaper as yeah. life partners doing this business together, yeah. and partners so, and, life and business. I mean, it shouldn't be where I'm like, kind of questioning if we might have somebody coming in here, you know, just to be hateful because yeah. we are public, but. You know, it's it's been a it's while since yet. I've had, had just really any kind sweet. of like physical threat against me, which that was more you know when I was younger and I guess late teens, early twenties. 
Um, but I haven't really had anything like that. I think that generally people are more accepting of it here than you would expect for a small town. Um, but it, there's definitely some weird, some weird moments. Um, but mostly, I feel like it doesn't really affect how we interact out, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but it does make it really fun to go to, like, the city or somewhere else, and we're like, oh, my God, there's so many games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've literally, like, grasped each other before because we saw another But we were in another, like, hands. super rural area in North Georgia, and we're like, oh, those men holding hats? too. <laughs> it was not our best. Because, you know, we don't see it all the time. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. We also get a lot of... Um, really only old white men who just insist that, that we're, we're sisters, sisters. <laughs> uh, just and really we do not her. look alike whatsoever physically um and we'll be like this is my girlfriend my partner and they're like so how's your sister <laughs> like, okay just never mind <laughs> yeah. okay she's great <laughs> yeah. uh, definitely gonna just like tongue down your throat next time <laughs> so gonna, yep Blood and siblings. Same anyway, mom, same that was a super long answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. Um, how would you, do you have any advice for allies, like, in a way that they can support the queer community? Um, I think that there's a lot of really great businesses that, um, and even just something, because we were in Asheville a few weeks ago, and we were at Green Man, and they had a can that had some rainbow element to it, and we're like, oh, it's gay, let's try it. And I was, for a second, we were like, we're just buying into this, you know, consumer culture, just catering to the queers. And then I actually read the canon. It was like all 100% of the proceeds from that beer went to um, a local charity that helped um, LGBTQ youth, like, in the West Asheville area or West North Carolina area. And I was like, that is actually, like, that's putting your money where your mouth is, you know? And I think that there's a lot of really great businesses that that do stuff like that. Um, And especially if it's something that you were going to buy anyway, then like just putting your money in those places is a really good way to do that. Um, but also I think you know one of our biggest problems as a community is um, homelessness, especially among our youth, because people just get kicked out of their homes. Um, and I think that there's a lot of really great um, places out there that are dedicated to helping with that. Um, and other than that, I think just supporting queer businesses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but also that beer was really great. What was yeah, it? The was White Love All. I think it was called Love yeah. All. Um, but it was actually really good. It was a good step up. I guess another thing is like the little rainbow flag in the doorway. Oh my you God, don't yeah. have to be like, welcome all queers. Yeah. But like to at least have a little symbolic something yeah. that shows. You breathe a little bit like, easier, you know? Yeah, it makes you feel way more comfortable knowing that mm-hmm. that is around and that you don't have to wonder if they're gonna hate you right yeah. off the bat. Especially I mean, if you're somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. And we don't we see that more in cities, like the little rainbow mm-hmm. flag on the door. It'd be nice to see that more yeah. obviously around here. We had that one little shop and we're in like the middle of nowhere in North Carolina, like and it just like chomp sign after chomp sign after chomp sign and then this little rainbow flag on this little witch store and we're like and we like turned around to go in you know? <laughs> um but yeah. it really does stuff like that you. just to just show that you know it's kind of friendly but you don't have to be in yeah. your face about it but just enough to make you feel a little bit safe it, like i mean it is a public statement close that yeah. Are, yeah but it's just I guess it's like a little bit of somebody's got your back, you yeah. know, kind of feeling instead of wondering what mm-hmm. people might be thinking, so. Yeah, or if they're going to give you your food to go when you're <coughs> to eat there. Yeah, that's people happened like to us have a few will push us out the door sometimes, yeah. Oh Which is, yeah, it's really weird. Barbecue, especially. And it sucks because <laughs> we're like, we I'm love a true barbecue. Southern queer. <laughs> like, I love my barbecue, and so. I don't like them. I'm getting pushed on the door. Those places don't yeah. have If there's a barbecue the place with a rainbow flag, I'd never eat <coughs> We'd be there. Else. Yeah. Uh, I think just anywhere that we've been that has, like, really great, friendly service that I don't feel, like, othered, that really, it really helps, like, on a day-to-day basis. Just general friendliness. And it doesn't have to be over the top, but just to, like, actually, like, smiling at my face. <laughs> Um, really does a lot and there's definitely some days where things feel really strained and having that kind of interaction with someone mm-hmm. really goes a long way I think you know? mm-hmm. 
Is there anything about this project in particular that was exciting for you? I we're really excited about this whole yeah, one. Yeah, we really wanted to be drawing something for that. They're like, oh, you're just your initial post. I was like, I want to do that. Yeah, I told her that immediately. She's like, yeah. where's Swamp the project? I don't know. <laughs> no, we were yeah, like super well, busy. And I was we'll like, see. I don't know. If she's one of these fast. <clears throat> and then we ended up like finishing everything up really fast. And I was like, she's still looking for someone. Let's mm-hmm. do it. So. Um, and we really love how the design turned out. And yeah, and just the colors are so great. queer, yeah. no fear. It's yeah. very empowering, and it's yeah, especially when you lived a lot with fear, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I just can't wait concerned. to actually wear one. And just be like, yeah, hmm. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get in the thick of it. We're gonna go to L J. <laughs> it's like L J barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like forty five minutes. We're gonna hit up barbecue places. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'll fight you, but please don't. But fight that me. is nice. I think the message is pretty direct and yeah, and very empowering. Yeah, and I do like. I mean, we love rainbows just as much as the next, I guess, general person. But <laughs> it's nice to have something that, like yeah. we mentioned, not overly rainbow or you know, super flamboyant kind of message. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's really. I, I I really like the the meaning behind that. So. Yeah. Cool. That's it. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I hope Thanks. I didn't move yeah. my feet too much. <laughs> <laughs> I like turn on there, like my